On the 30th of July 2010, we travelled to 10 Downing Street to hand in a petition to protest against the actions of Trinity Church Brentwood, formerly known as Bernal Church, who were attempting to evict Bishop Michael Reed and Dr. Ruth Reed from Testimony House, their home for over 19 years. It was named Testimony House when the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa decided to raise funds during a service at the Bernal Church to purchase the Reeds a home. Bishop Reed chose to register the home in the name of the church and not his own name, never dreaming that one day attempts would be made to throw them out. It had been agreed that they would have lifetime occupancy and now, in their old age, a great injustice is being done. Okay, we're here at 10 Downing Street and we've come in to uh, hand in a petition uh, to try to prevent the Bishop Reed being evicted from his home by the Bernal Church, which have changed their name to Trinity Church. And so we hope we're very successful and something come of it. And uh, this is uh, us just trying to fight something that we believe is very uh, unjust and something really terrible has been done here. And we want to come against it, stand against it, and show that uh, we must stand up for what's right and do what's right. Yes, I'm here today outside number 10 with a group of my colleagues and we're going to present a petition into the Prime Minister's office at number 10 Downing Street in support of our good friend and colleague Bishop Reed. Bishop Reed and Dr. Reed founded Penile Church 32 years ago. Not only did they found it, they funded it, they invested their life in it. And 19 years ago, a property was bought as a lifetime home for Bishop and Dr. Reed. Now the church that they used to pastor has decided that they're going to evict Bishop Reed and Dr. Ruth Reed on the 10th of August. So I'm here with my colleagues to do everything that I know to do to stop that unjust, unfair, unrighteous and unprincipled and immoral thing happening. So I'm looking for good results today. Thank you. I'm here to support Bishop Reed on this petition concerning a place where he and his family live and the injustice that has come before him. And I believe as the body of Christ we have stand together to put this petition before our local government and also the government of this country that they may actually look and see and understand the injustice that has been done. So I'm here in support of his ministry and in support of his family that justice will be done. Yes, the reason why we're here today is um, to express our protest against the decision of Pennell Church in, in, in Brentwood regards um, the way that Bishop Michael Reed has been treated, especially concerning Testimony House, uh, of which we believe very much that um, their approach to it is unchristianly uh, because uh, we are all aware that um, the, the, the purchase of that building um, was engineered by Bishop Benson Idahosa from Nigeria and he made a, uh, a public um, uh, uh, contribution uh, or rather he, he asked that people should contribute publicly uh, towards the purchase of tenement, uh, a testimony house which he said in the public it was a retirement home for Bishop uh, uh, Michael Reed and Dr. Ruth Reed and based on that people gave towards the purchase of tenement house which was purchased for Bishop Reed. And, um, but now we, we are quite surprised uh, by the decision of the church to take even the house from Bishop Reed. Of course we know that Bishop Reed is a founder of uh, Peniel Church of which in the beginning he invested his own personal money to acquire the land and also when the, the church was built you know he spent his own money to pay for the mortgage and he has invested all his life building that church. We least expect that they would take the church from him. We expected rather that the, the, the church leadership will have followed the principle of the scripture as to restoring and helping him and bringing him back to his work. Uh, but I believe very much that uh, uh, bringing this before the government, we believe by the grace of God we should be able to make a headway uh, to secure at least the testimony house and then we can talk about the rest of the things thereafter. Well, thank you so much and God bless you. As we walk up to number 10, we are not sure what to expect. The results are in God's hands. Only He is able to turn things around. We hope somehow someone at number 10 will take positive action. 
Apostle Williams and uh, Bishop Mark Nicholson were outside 10 Downing Street to hand in a petition for Bishop uh, Michael Reed. Uh, tell us about it. Yes, um, we, we are here to uh, attend our petition regards um, how Penel Church have treated Bishop Michael Reed yes. and especially in regards to Testimony House, yes. which we believe as uh, bishops in the church yes. and uh, as Christians that um, it's unchristianly, right. very unfair. Uh, because we were aware when Bishop um, um, Benson Dahosa raised the money publicly to purchase the, ten, uh, the testimony house uh, of, on, and he said, you know, then he was raising the money on the basis that testimony house would be the retirement home for uh, Bishop uh, Michael and Dr. Ruth Reed. Yes. And haven't it been spoken in the public, yes. we expected by law that goes into a restricted fund, yes. which was used to purchase the building. Yes. Yes. And hence, we, as we, we believe that um, the decision of Testimony House is not only unchristianly, but it's not legal. Right. Okay. And that's the reason why we, have he we are here. And yes. of course, we all are not happy about the way they have treated his case as into the fact that he is the one who pioneered um, uh, Peniel Church, right. and he invested his, his life investment and assets for the purchase of the land, yes. for the building of the church building, right. and you know uh, he has personal land within the estate, and he gave everything for the uh, for the Lord, which yes. he gave to the church, yes. and we we believe very much that uh, uh, the the church hasn't got any biblical basis, right. and also we believe that they haven't got the legal right to do what they are doing, right. that's to have taken him away from the whole assets, yes. ostracized him without yes. giving him any any. Um, uh, a part of it, yes. or even if they are talking about um, their, their relieving of the church, at least he has investment in it in the beginning, yes. and they haven't talked about that. Yes. So we believe that uh, our protests to the, the Tendani Street, we expect that the government will intervene yes. and just let you know, justice prevail. That's right. Bishop Nicholson, um, you've read the report and you've read about what's happened to Bishop Reed. Tell us how you feel about it. Well, first and foremost, I am really proud that I'm standing alongside the bishop here, making a stand in Christendom to let them understand that things like this should not happen and that the church itself should take a stand. Yeah. That's what we're doing today. It has grieved me and I pray that what's happening today will set a precedent in this country that when things like this are so terrible in our faces and also in the body of Christ, that the church itself will galvanate, come together and make a stand like what we're doing today. Thank you very much. Thank you. The door is knocked and a friendly officer answers the door. We hand in the petition and confirm that all documents are enclosed. And as we turn to leave, we realize that the rest is in God's hands. Leaving 10 Downing Street, we realize that we have done all we can for now. The media attention will at least bring people awareness of the great injustice. Somehow we know this fight is not over yet.